Morning folks. Here with my driver here. This is not the part where we normally start the video. Just coming out of my house right now on my way to work. So I've decided and I challenged you guys as well and gals to consider reading the book of James from beginning to end. It's only five chapters every day during this month. Why would you do that? Well, because it's full of knowledge, number one. Number two, because it's really a small book. Kind of cool. It's only five chapters. You can read it in 20 minutes. Um, so I started reading. And the first thing that caught my eye was just like the first verse. It just starts off. This letter is from James, a slave of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just, I didn't even get halfway through verse one and it just occurred to me. He refers to himself as a slave of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Why would he do that? And then I reflected on that a little bit and it occurred to me. None of us are really free. We might think we're free. We're all a slave to something. And so my question for you today is, what are you a slave of? Who are you a slave of? Are you a slave of fitness? There are some people you see and you admire on Instagram and they have these incredible bodies. And guess what? They're a slave to the gym. They can't let a drop of sugar, a dessert. They gotta be really tight with their diet. They gotta, you know, it's a lot of dedication behind that. Um, there's other people that you see that they're a slave to happy hour. They're not missing it. I mean, they'd rather miss work than miss happy hour. Uh, it starts at five and ends at five. <laughs> Um, there's other people that are a slave to many other things, to lust, to passion, to acceptance, a slave to getting along, a slave to whatever. So my question for to you today is, what are you going to be a slave of? I mean, because if you got to be a slave, and that's the, the premise of what I'm throwing out there today is, if you got to be a slave to something, choose what you're going to be a slave of. You could be a slave to your addiction to food. You could be a slave to just anything in this world. But James starts off saying, this letter is from James, slave of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's decided if I'm gonna be a slave, if I'm gonna have a master, it's gonna be God and the Lord Jesus Christ. So maybe you don't like the word slave, but how about this? Everybody's got a master. Everybody's got something that pulls their strings. Everybody's got something that controls them. Who or what is pulling your strings? Who or what is controlling you? Who or what are you a slave to? Because if you've got to be a slave, pick who you're going to be a slave to. I say you become a slave to the Lord Jesus Christ and God. I say that you choose being a slave to love, generosity, being a slave to unconditional caring, fellowship. That's what God offers you not a slave to temporary pleasures that just leave the heartaches. Um, you can have it all with God. The rest is just an illusion. The rest is just temporary entertainment. The rest is just distraction. So decide what are you going to be a slave to? I've, there's lots of things that I've decided in, over the course of my life. I'm not going to be a slave to this. I'm not going to be a slave to sugar. I'm not going to be a slave to being controlled by food. I'm not going to be, that's probably the part of the reason that that's part, of, I'm not going to be a slave to addictions. Um, I'm not going to be a slave to just my emotions. And part of what, why we're called to fast is as that discipline of not being a slave to, you know, Lord's stomach helps us in other areas of our lives. So, Number one, I encourage you to read the book of James from start to finish. And number two, I encourage you to th think about that. What are you a slave to? Pick a better master, okay? God bless you one and all.